it's, um, it's, a, it's a good sign in terms of how we host. Thank you. Mama Rachel Ruto, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya. Dr. Jill Biden, the First Lady of the United States of America. Honorable Rebecca Miano, Cabinet Secretary, East African Community, Arid and Semi-Arid Lands. If you'd kindly stand up so that our ladies can get to know who you are, I would appreciate. Thank you. Thank you. Ambassador Margaret Whitman, the Ambassador of the United States of America to Kenya. If you can kindly stand up. Thank you. Susan Mangani, the Principal Secretary, Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises and Development. We also want to have a special welcome to Miss Naomi Biden, the granddaughter of Dr. Jill Biden. Please. <laughs> Our mamas, ladies for peace, joyful women, Karibuni Sana. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. You are most welcome. Thank you. So we are here today to be part of a very special meeting, a joyful women meeting led by Ladies of Peace, or Ladies for Peace, I beg your pardon, who meet here in Kibera. They have graciously allowed us into their joyful women table banking meeting today. They meet every 25th of the month. And so we are honored, ladies, that you've allowed us to come and be part of your meeting. Thank you very much. <laughs> My name is Nancy Salamba, the Chief of Staff at the Office of the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, and I will be your moderator for today. So without much ado, I will ask that you, the ladies for peace introduce yourself, starting with the chairperson. Thank you very much. Thank you. If we can please pass the microphone to them. Thank you. Hello. Oh, I'm Sarah Nyango Okumu. Na mimi ni chair lady of Ladies for Peace group. Tukiwa ndani ya joyful group. Sarah is the chair lady of the group. Yeah, Asante. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you, Sarah. Okay, my name is Millicent Achieng, secretary of the group. Thank you. Hello. Hello. My name is Beatrice Mutia, vice secretary. Hello. Hello. My name is Jacqueline Kamau. I'm the treasurer of the group. Hello. My name is Mshayim David, member. Hello. Mimi ni Saida Mohammed, member. Hello. I'm called Pennsylvania Julia Koth. I'm a member. Hello. I'm Teresia Wairimo, member. Yes, good afternoon. I'm Kelvin Victor, Economic Empowerment Officer, Nairobi County. Hello, I'm Mary Akinyi, member. Hello, my name is Margaret, member. Thank you. Hello, Hello. Elizabeth Akela, member. Um, your first ladies, um, our interpreter for today will be Reverend Edward Ngaira. Edward Ngaira um, works at the office of the First Lady and a mama doing good, and he is the director in charge of uh, Mercy Works, which is a program under the Faith Diplomacy Pillar. Thank you very much, Reverend Edward Ngaira. I'm going to invite Madame Stella Chepngeno. She's the director of Women Economic Empowerment, which is one of our strategic pillars. Thank you, Stella, to talk to us about the concept of table banking. Thank you. Thank you, Nancy. 
uh, Mama Rachel Ruto, the First Lady of the Republic of Kenya, Dr. Jill Biden, uh, the First Lady uh, United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, all protocols observed. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Karibuni sana. Yes, uh, I'm pleased today to talk to you about what table banking is, so that as we uh, do the table banking, you are able to understand what exactly it means. And I'll talk in English because um, our mamas do understand what the table banking is, and therefore uh, Mr. Ngaira will pardon me at this point. And therefore I'll explain that table banking is a group funding strategy where members come, meet, save, borrow that amount that they have borrowed immediately. There is no money that goes into the bank. So as they continue borrowing the savings, they borrow it for what? They borrow it for short-term and long-term loans. And those short-term and long-term loans, they go and use it to do economic activities or what we we'll call the livelihoods that will help them now be able to make more money, to be able to come to the table, to be able to save and borrow again. And that will be, uh, today will be done on the table so that we can all see how it works. The interest that is generated from the table remains in the table so that it can be put back again to be able to uh, compound. Mm -hmm. The women borrow again that money they use it and that increases their capital base. Mm -hmm. What happens is that at the end of the year, the women, their faces at the end of the year, especially in December, are all shining because what they do, this profit that they have made throughout the year, they are able to uh, divide among us themselves, but the savings remain so that the next year we have a broad forward savings that will help them be able to borrow even more loans from that table. And the group members use the borrowed amounts uh, basically to either start off businesses or to be able to scale up the businesses that they are already doing. The group members are members who trust one another. These members know each other they know each, other, each other's homes. They know, you know every other activity because other than table banking, they visit one another. Whatever they have, uh, things like, you know, the baby has been born, they go visit. When a grandchild, you know, is, um, is, is doing maybe uh, what we call in our language the, the ceremonies of dowry negotiations, their children, they visit one another. So it's not just table banking. It goes beyond the table banking. There is social activities that they do that bond them together. And I want to say at this point that this group has been around for the last, from 2012 to now. Wow. Yes. And before they joined Joyful in 2019, they were doing the activities of table banking. They were doing activities of merry-go-round, but in a way that it wasn't well defined. When they joined us now, they were able to get a more, a better way of handling their money uh, in an organized manner with somebody who guides them, who is our economic empowerment officer. So um, the, most of them here, they are able to work within the same place they are sharing the businesses or they are living within the same neighborhood and that's how they know each other. The group set up the rules uh, to be able to be followed but with the guidance of our economic empowerment officer. So once the rules have been set up, they, the one of the rules is that they meet monthly and that is today is their meeting day. And that's why they have invited us here to be able to observe and see what they are going to do with the table banking. <laughs> and during this meeting, <laughs> thank you. During meeting, uh, this meeting, they'll be able to carry out the following activities. One of the things that we do on the table is that we don't uh, mention our names. Mm -hmm. And it is because of confidentiality purposes. So we, the, each member has a number. So when we'll be doing, doing the table bank, you'll see a number one, number two, number three. And just to, uh, to be able to inform you in advance, number nine left the group. 
because of personal purposes. So we'll skip number nine, we'll go to number 10, and as they call them, they bring the money on the table and it is, uh, we are able, uh, the treasurer is able to record, our teacher is able to record, and therefore their books also are filled and signed so that by the time they go back home, they go back with, with the records. So the books that they have here, we are calling them the checkbooks that they use to keep their records which is signed by the, by the uh, economic empowerment officer, make sure that they are filled so that they know I have saved 5,000 shillings as at now, and they feel very excited. It gives them the motivation to be able to go on. It is also important to note that uh, the women have a meeting day and a meeting time, and they keep time. If you come in late, there is a fine that will be charged for coming in late. <laughs> And uh, the other thing is that if you are also absent without apology, there is, a, there is a fine that they put. And apology is an apology whereby beyond all other circumstances, that is why you are not able to come to the group. And you are, it, or apology without, uh, you, you, have, you have not come to the group, you have, um, you have no apology, there is a fine also for that. And in some groups it is very punitive. They pay even up to $20 for not coming to the group. Uh, and it is important also to know that when they come in here, the first thing they do is prayers. Mm -hmm. Then they read the minutes and confirm them. Once they have done that, they pay their savings. Then they pay their loans back, the repayment of loans. And therefore, after that, now calculations are done between uh, the, 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 it is the treasurer who receives the money, mm -hmm. does calculations, the economic empowerment officers helps them to just verify that yes it is true that is the amount but the money is held by the treasurer of the group and after that after they have confirmed and counted the money the figures are counted the books have been signed that is when now we have the payment of some fees that uh, come to the organization which they now put aside and pay through the pay bill which is done by the treasurer of the group then thereafter there is what we call the loan disbursements again we go back and ask ourselves how much do we have uh, on that table and out of that much that we have on the table we are members will be able to say their need and then we calculate and see is it enough if it's not enough there are negotiations who will go with it this time round, who will, who will remain, and all that stuff. And so what usually happens, what we have seen in the table banking, is the fact that we always have a deficit most of the time. And as an organization, we have come up with a strategy to, to be able to meet uh, that deficit uh, on the table, and the women repay back. So then, then after that, uh, we are able now to confirm the total revolving fund. And I want to say this group has a total revolving fund of 122,000 Kenya shillings that they are revolving on the table. And this group has benefited from a loan of 50,000 shillings from the organization that they repay back with very affordable interest. And that boosts their table so that they don't have deficits and no one goes home without a loan. And once that total revolving fund is confirmed and the teacher now reminds them on the, of the next uh, meeting date and the, if there is no other AOB, the group ends with a word of prayer. So that's how the table banking will work today, but the concept is mainly to enable the women to be able to access affordable um, a credit, to be able to help the women to learn to save, because when you do it together in a group, it helps women to give, keep each other accountable. And out of this uh, table banking, they are able to meet their daily needs. Their children go to school, they are able to pay for health issues, and also they are able to even support their spouses. So thank you very much, Your Excellencies uh, and the First Ladies, for uh, listening to me. And so I pass over the mic, mic to now uh, Madam Nancy to be able to take over from there. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Madam Stella. Uh, thank you for making it so clear in terms of how table banking works, a trans transformative program that actually impacts lives, especially the lives of women. And we have a good example here with the Ladies for Peace. Um, first ladies, every idea starts from somewhere. And so I want to believe that this idea started somewhere. 
and it would be important for us to understand where this idea started. And so I'm more than honored to ask my First Lady to explain to us where this came from. Thank you. Thank you so much, um, Nancy. Um, Dr. Jill Biden, First Lady of the United States of America, uh, all the guests here, and the women of peace, good afternoon. Abarizenu, Mkosalama, Asante Nona Mumengara Kabisa. Thank you. I was just telling them they look very beautiful and very. <laughs> okay, so the story of joyful women dates back to the year 1997. That's about 25 years ago. I had an opportunity to go to the villages of Wasindishu County that time to help my husband, now our president. Then he was running to become member of parliament for Eldoret North. I was a young girl. We had just gotten married. I was about 27 years old. So I went as a good wife and a good mother to go meet the mothers and the youth and just to see what was happening and helping campaign to become the member of Loret North. That was in 1997, and he was running for the first time. And so as I went crisscrossing the villages asking for votes, I met women, I met young people. But I'll never forget this day when I met this particular group of women. They were seated not very far from the road, about 50 of them. And I stopped to go talk to them just to ask for votes. But something different caught my attention. As the women sat on the ground, just listening to a little a young girl talking to them, I noticed one woman that was seated right in front of me. She looked like she had not had breakfast. She looked emaciated. She didn't have shoes. And yet, what caught my attention was a broad smile that she had. And when I looked at them and I looked at her, I made a prayer to God. And I said, if my husband makes it to parliament, I would like to come back and do something with these women. Because what I saw was not very acceptable. Because I was wondering, if a mother can leave her house without shoes to come for that kind of a meeting, then what was the situation at home? What about her children? And many things went around my head. Anyway, by God's grace, my husband was elected for the first time as member of parliament for Eldoret North. And of course, we came to Nairobi where we lived with a young family. But the picture of that particular lady that sat there that morning never left my mind. And I kept wondering, what will I do? God has given me an opportunity now to become a wife of a member of parliament of that region. What would I do? And I kept wondering, and I kept asking, and I kept talking to people. Because for me, I was looking for sustainability. I was looking for something that these women would do, that they would not ever even want to go borrowing things or doing that kind of thing. And 12 years down the line, I will never forget that day in my office. I used to run a travel agency. And what I call an angel walked into my office and talked to me about the concept of table banking. And immediately, I thought about the women of Eldoret North. Now, this concept of table banking that, uh, that um, Stella has explained to us is actually a government concept that was crafted by the then Poverty Eradication Commission. And a team of um, economists were sent to Bangladesh and to India and to the parts of Asia to go see what they had done. And it was borrowed on the Grameen Bank. And when I was told about this concept that had already been written, Immediately, I knew that that was the solution for the women of Eldoret North. And so quickly, I called for a meeting of all the women leaders, and I had a meeting under a tree, and I started talking to them about table banking. And that day, on the 31st of August of 2009, Joyful Women Organization was born. And we named this organization Joyful Women because of that one woman that did not have shoes, looked like had not had breakfast, yet had a broad smile. Just to say that sometimes in life, you may not have everything, but nobody can take the joy away from you. And we say that we want to spread this joy across the nation of Kenya and across the nations of the world. That joy that emanates from a woman, you know, that smile. And we said we want this joy just to be 
to be seen in every woman. And I'm glad this morning, this afternoon, that I can see the women of peace very joyful. I can see the smile. And so it began. <laughs> I inaugurated NOC in 2009, and I crisscrossed the county teaching the women. I'm blessed to be trained as a teacher. So that was not a very difficult job for me. I used to leave Nairobi on Thursday, and I would have two meetings uh, that Thursday, two meetings on Friday, two meetings on Saturday. And I came back to Nairobi also to take care of my family, because then I had a young family. And so we began with Eldoret North. And when my husband became deputy president in 2013, we had the opportunity to spread joy for women across the nation. And we crisscrossed Kenya. And I really thank God for the opportunity of uh, giving me this platform. It enabled me to travel to the places in our country that I had never traveled to. And we actually uh, went to 46 out of the 47 uh, counties of our nation. And I was so glad just to see the diversity of our women. You go to Lamu you see the women of Lamu. You go to Kisumu, you see the women of Kisumu. You go to Kisi, the women of Kisi, Nakuru. And we brought joyful women to these women and to their homes. And today, uh, we are glad that uh, joyful women are spread across the counties. And today, we have about 150,000 women who are members of Joyful Women Organization. We have about 11,000 groups, and we continue to, to spread the joy. And not to be ignorant of the fact that we've had our own challenges, especially during COVID-19. We really had challenges with the women meeting, because when they said that uh, people could not meet, then our women could not meet. But we we thank God that we've been able to overcome that. And today, God has given us a platform to change the lives of women. Because when they borrow this money uh, on the table, they are able to do enterprises. You know, we know that many other times women do not have collateral to go to the commercial banks uh, to borrow money because uh, uh, the collaterals that the women would really have maybe would be title deeds and things like that. But in the African culture, we know that really women do not own land. But we thank God because things are changing in the 21st century. And even as we empower these women, we know that they have stories to tell us, testimonies, women that could not even go to meetings we have brought dignity back to the women. One woman told me that any time they went for meetings in the villages, they used to be told to sit on the grass. But because of the joyful women and empowering them economically, when they walk into the meetings, they are called to sit on the high table. And so today we are saying that women are sitting on the table. So thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, for enabling the women of Kenya to participate in the economic development of our nation, for enabling the women of Kenya to have a voice, for enabling the women of Kenya to be able to be confident in who they are, in what they can achieve, and to be confident that they can also be participants around the table. I will kindly ask you to invite Dr. Jill Biden, the First Lady of the Republic of the United States of America, I'm sorry, to make some remarks. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Dr. Jill Biden, I would like to invite you to make some remarks. Karibu sana. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Well, I love, uh, I love seeing this, this program, Rachel, that you started because I, I think uh, one of the things that I've been, since I came to Kenya, I came to work on um, girls' education, women's empowerment, and you were doing exactly that. And I've always taught my own daughter and my granddaughters the importance of being financially independent. And so now here uh, you've found a way to do your own banking system, which is pretty incredible, Rachel. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. So I love to see, you know, I'd love to hear what some of you are doing you know, with the money that you're getting from the table banking. And it's pretty ingenious that women found a way to support other women, to lift them up and to increase economic prosperity for the families, right? It's not just for you. You do it to support your families. So uh, I wondered if anybody would tell me, you know, what you're doing with the money. What 
what businesses did you start? How do you feel empowered? Nancy, can they, is that okay? Do we have time for that? Oh, okay. Yeah, but they can answer your question. All right. I have a letter from the letter that I have to say that this is a very good thing that we have to do with our bank and our bank. And the question that I have to say is that I want to know what we have to do with our bank and what we have to do with our bank. I want to know what we have to do with our bank and what we have to do wakati ambapo mmeazima pesa kutoka kwa meza. Amjambo tena. Amjambo. Kama nilisema jina langu ni Jacqueline Kamau. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mimi ni founder wa hii group member of the one of the founders. And uh, tulianza, in, in fact, ni vizuri ni seme kidogo, tulianza 207 wakati wa post-election violence. Lakini hatu kuja, hatu, kuwa, hatu, uh, hatu kuanza, tukiwa merigo round. Okay. It was, nita block wale, kwa hivyo nita keti tu. Naza keti tu, mama. Yeah, mama, tuke, tukai. Yeah, sante. Uh, she's saying that uh, this group actually began in earnest in 2007 after the post-election violence that Kenya experienced, the political upheaval that happened in this country mm -hmm. in 2000, 2008, 2007, 2008. Yeah. And tulikuwa tuko kwa camp flani, juu ya kwa zetu. So tukakama kuna group tukasema na hatutaki ka group yenye inakuwa na kabila moja we were, kwa sababu sisi wote ni wa Kenya. We were internally displaced and so we were in a camp and we decided we decided to bring together a group that comes from various communities in our country. Uh, and we tumeeneza hiyo peace tangu sasa tumejaribu kupeana huo mfano kwa wat, wa mama wengi because tumeona inafanya kazi vizuri so our main theme has been peace and that's why we have that name peace and that has continued on from that time on we are identified with peace okay sasa tuka, uh, kwa bahati tuliendelea then we formed a group in 2012 ya kuanza table banking and uh, in uh, merry go round na kupeana pesa kidogo kidogo kwa mkopo so we progressed and in 2012 we formed a group that was basically a revolving fund around ourselves na baadaye ndio 2019 tuka uh, watu wa, wa joyful wakaja tukajiunga nao and in 2019 joyful women came and we joined the group yeah na tukakuwa na tukaona kwa miezi ya kwanza tu tukakuwa na maendeleo lakini pia post election uh, not post corona ikaja tukasimama kidogo we made tremendous progress during that time but covid-19 came and stood yeah. in the way and disrupted our progress we didn't give up tuliendelea kupigiana simu na kujuliana hali we we did not give up as he said and we continue to contact each other encourage each other on the phone and so the group continued but with phone communication hata merry go round tuliendelea kutumiana kwa simu siku ya mtu ikifika tuna coordinate tunamtumia kwa simu and so the funds were transferred uh, electronically on our phones yeah so na kutoka tulirudi baada ya corona kupungua kidogo na tukaanza sasa kuendelea na mwalimu wetu ambaye kwa kukata short ndio wengine waongee tumesaidika sana kwa sababu hata mimi sikujua maneno ya kumanage e, kitabu na vitu kama hizo wameweza kutusaidia sana na so, yeah. so through the, the economic empowerment officer we have really uh, had a lot of benefit because he has taught us on how to manage our finances and that has improved our financial management to such a great level. Our group imekuwa kushinda hata vile tulikaa hiyo miaka kutoka 2012 mpaka wakati wa 2019. The progress since we had our teacher uh, is, is very remarkable because we've made so much progress as compared to the years from 20, uh, 2007, 20, 2012 till 2019. In these few years, we've made tremendous economic progress. 
Yeah. So nikiongea kuhusu biashara yangu, mimi na supply vegetables three times a week mahali. Alafu niko tuko na shule ya daycare na play group ambao tulianzisha na chair lady wetu kama partner mimi na yeye kwa sababu also tulikuwa trained kama community health workers na tukasema tunaweza rudisha nini kwa community my personal business is that i supply vegetables three times a week and together with uh, my partner there we have op we have opened up a day a daycare and uh -huh. we operate a daycare from the funds that we get from the group. The aim ya hii daycare ni vile tuliangalia kibera watoto wanabaki kwa manyumba wanakuwa na shida mbalimbali za kuchomeka kufanya nini tukaona kama community health workers wacha tukuje na hii kitu watoto wapate kama mahali ni dropping center ama ni mahali wanaweza kupata utunzo vile wa mama wengi wa kibera wanaenda kufua wakirudi wanalipa kitu kidogo na mtoto wa kwa kuwa safe place the great mm. need that uh, this community experiences lots of mothers go to work and leave their children at home unattended mm -hmm. and that is what inspired mm. the beginning of the daycare and so we bring children together and take care of them while their mothers have gone to work during the day so okay, nikimalizia kwa sababu na kuanga muongeaji wa group nataka kusema Amani ni kitu mzuri sana. Peace is ni kitu mzuri kwa sababu wakati huo tulikaa kwa peace bila kujua kabila gani ndio gani. Na mimi nimekuwa nikihubiri kitu kwa wamama. If we come together, hatutaki kujua umetoka kabila gani, umetoka mtaa gani, wa Nairobi ama wa wapi. Tunakaa pamoja tunaweza kufanya makubwa kwa hii inchi kwa sababu wa mama ndio wako na nguvu ya kuweka amani saa hii ukienda uambie bwana yako asipige mtu mawe ama asiulize mtu wewe ataka ni sawa tuko na hiyo nguvu lakini sana sana hatuju hatujui asanteni sana kwa sababu so in conclusion mama. in conclusion the, she underscores the importance of peace and says that these women are great influences even at home when they say to their husbands no throwing stones no violence the husbands will now listen that's great <laughs> okay nikiongezea mimi vile nilisema majina ni Sara Nyango mimi biashara yangu mimi ya Mateila alafu na hiyo shule yenyewe tunalanisha na Jackie Sarah is a tailor mm -hmm. and she also is in partnership with the other business of school. taking care of children in school. Yeah. So vile mwenzangu ameongea sitaongea mengi ni kushukuru sana Joyful. Wakati tuliingia hii kikundi ya Joyful Women imetusaidia sana kwa sababu tulikuwa chini. Tulianza mwanzo ukisikiza hapo ulisikia vile tumeanza kitambo lakini so, the, the testimony is really that uh, when Joyful Women Organization came, we have been lifted, literally mm -hmm. lifted up from a very low economic place mm -hmm. to a higher place, and we're proud of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. so wakati tuli join, tukona mwalimu wetu, Kelvin, and that's the idea a lot. Tunumejua mengi, vile tuna save, vile tuna kopa hiyo pesa, vile kila mtu anazaeka kwa biashara yake na tumeona kila mtu ameshikilia biashara kabisa na anafanya na inafanya vizuri so kelvin has been very instrumental in teaching us on how to save on how to invest and how to repay the loans that we take from the group and through his guidance we have really really benefited from this program yeah na ninashukuru tena wanachama wangu kwa sababu ni wale wanasikiza na wanaelewa wanarudisha vizuri wakichukua wanaelewa hii tunafaa kufanya hivi na hivi na wanaelewa kabisa na wanafanya hivi I must acknowledge that uh, the no, members sure, of this group are very faithful yeah. in repaying the loans they borrow they are very faithful Niko na imani bado tutaendelea mbali tukiwa na nyinyi mama yetu Recho tumefurahi sana 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 leo ukiangalia siku ya leo wana mema wangu vile uso imengara kila mtu And we are so glad yeah. to, to see our first lady mama Recho and we really are optimistic that we will move to higher heights 
as we put uh, our efforts together. Asante sana. Thank you. First lady kutoka US. You are welcome. Tumewakaribisha sana kwa Ladies for Peace. The first lady of the United States, you are very welcome to the Ladies for Peace. Okay, ningependa kila mtu aseme biashara yake nafikiria wacha tufanye table banking kwanza kwa sababu tutachukua muda mrefu kidogo. Where did they find Kelvin? Yes. Like where did Kelvin? Kelvin. Yes. So Kelvin, uh, uh, Dr. Jill is uh, from Joyful Women Organization. She, he is an economic empowerment officer. He's the one who comes like as a teacher to meet with these ladies so that he can guide, like especially in filling the books and just guiding the entire process of table banking, like we will be seeing shortly. Is he from a bank or the government? He's from the Joyful Women Organization. Okay, yes. so he goes around to, all around Kenya to meet with other organizations like this one? Yes, he actually like has about uh, 40 groups, Kevin. 43 groups uh -huh. in Nairobi. So like today he's meeting with the Ladies of Peace. Maybe tomorrow he has another uh, group. Maybe on Monday he'll have two groups and so on and so forth. So he does like maybe two groups every day for oh. the month. Yes. Uh -huh. Oh, no, no, no. No, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Um, watch your microphone, So, Sawa so tutaendelea na table banking yetu vile huwa tunafanya kila wakati sasa mwalimu atatu guide ataendelea kuita kila namba ndio kila mtu ajipange na vile huwa tunaendelea kulipa lakini before hiyo tutaendelea nini secretary wetu atasoma minutes uh, maombi tulishaombewa sasa tutaomba secretary atatusomea minutes after kusoma minutes Okay, welcome. Our previous meeting held on 25th January 2023. Meeting opened with a word of prayer from Beatrice Mutia at 2 p.m. All members were present. We had two agendas and the uh, First agenda was contribution. All contributions were done smoothly as usual. Second agenda was educational booster. Our teacher informed us about ongoing re registration of education and agricultural booster. Registration w was 200, 200 shillings per booster. Hey, OB, our child thanked our, our members and the wish system a blessed month. Meet, meeting was closed with a word of prayer from Jacqueline Kamau. Our next meeting will be on 25th February 20, that 2023, which is today. And then our meeting continues. Okay, so sir, to excuse our minutes, to Naitaji when you are second, second, come out, Muta confirm, come out on your minutes, say, to look one hour, Wakati, who, Taitaji, come out, will you confirm? The minutes have been read and they are now looking for a proposal and a seconder of the minutes of the previous meeting. I'm Mary, I confirm the minutes. I'm Shaim Davida, I second the meeting. tutawakaribisha mwalimu uweze kusoma kila namba hili ukiitwa namba vile tulikuwa tunafanya kila wakati una peana savings zako loan na interest pamoja ili tuweze kuenda haraka haraka so the, the teacher is going to read the proceedings and guide on the loans and investments okay good afternoon once again 
We are going to start our table banking with member number one. So, long term loan of 2,800 savings. So total 3,520. So secretary long term loan 3,520. Savings 500. She took the long term loan and she has registered a one booster, education booster, that is 200 shillings. So they have one month repair? Yes, they have one month. No, no. Sometimes it's one month or three months, or they do the long-term loan, it's even one year or two years. Okay. So, member number two. Short-term loan of 12,100 savings. How much? Five. Boosters. Savings booster, booster. 16,320. Sorry, pardon. 12,000. Eight hundred and twenty. Member number three. Short term loan of sixteen thousand seven hundred and forty. <coughs> Savings. So seventeen thousand nine hundred and sixty. Okay. Seventeen thousand nine hundred and sixty. Yeah. Member number four. Short term loan of twelve thousand one hundred. So she she borrowed the loan of fifteen savings. How much? So now she's repaying fifteen dollars. So both are savings how much? Either do two times your savings or for long term loan you do three times your savings. Total of thirteen thousand three hundred and twenty. Member number five. You 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 will repay the long term loan of one thousand eight hundred and seventy. Savings? Number five. How much? Mm. Savings, how much? 500. Boosters, registration. Savings booster? Okay. Two thousand five hundred and ninety.
Twenty-five, ninety. Yeah. Okay. That one is how much? Boosters savings. Okay, you, that is registration. Eh? Okay, it's okay. Member number six, 1,870, long term. Savings? Boosters? Savings booster? Okay. 2,590. Two thousand five hundred and seventy. Five hundred and ninety, sorry. Member number seven. Long term repayment one thousand eight hundred and seventy. Savings. Registration, who's that? <coughs> boosters, una save leo. Una save boosters leo. I'm a registered. Okay. 2,590. Two thousand five hundred and ninety. Member number eight. Short term loan, eleven thousand. Then savings. Eleven thousand seven hundred and twenty. Eleven thousand seven hundred and twenty. Member number 10, 16,500 short term loan. Savings how much? 1,000. Boosters registration? 200. Boosters savings? 1,000. Plus welfare, that is 18,720. Eighteen thousand seven hundred and twenty. Eighteen thousand seven hundred and twenty. Member number 11, 8,800 short term loan. Savings, how much? Registration boosters? Okay. 9,520. Five hundred. 
Member number 12, she doesn't have any loans, so savings plus boosters. So two boosters, registration 400. Savings, how much? So total 3,034. So boosters savings 1,500. Boosters 750. Education booster, agriculture booster 750. Total 3,420. Number 12, normal savings 1,500. Education booster 750, agriculture booster 750. So we can now confirm the cash on the table. number so that in three hundred and twenty I'll go back up. 680. Six hundred and eight. Okay, seven hundred. So tungetaka tafadhali to confirm haraka haraka pesa ile iko kwa meza uh, because of time because we want you to very quickly 
tell Dr. Bill, Jill Biden, Comment? I'm sorry. <laughs> Jeez, I'm so sorry. Just call me Jill. No, I can't. 99? She's here. Okay, so, Mukosawa? Yeah. Well done, well done. Okay. So they've brought round the table 99,050 shillings. Well done, ladies. Well done. So very quickly, we are going to go round the table. And all, all you need to do is mention what you do when you get the money, please. Okay. Um, and only the ones who did not uh, talk. Komana chair lady to mejua na madam Millicent to najua vile mnafanya. So it's the rest of you to quickly say what you do with the money when you get it. And then we can move on from there. Thank you. Hi, everyone. As you remember, I said my name is Pennsylvania. And I have, I'm a soap maker. So I use it to add more stock in my business. Thank you. Yeah. Teresia Wairimu sells candy sweets hi again i'm mary i'm a saloonist at the same time i'm making bathing soap soap hairdressing saloon and soap business margaret sells vegetables Elizabeth, she sells uh, water and she has a hardware, Elizabeth. Hi, <laughs> Millicent Achieng, Nauza Viatu, na soap making. Millicent sells shoes and she also uh, manufactures soap. Good afternoon. I'm Beatrice Motia, uh, I have a cereal. Serious shop. Komajina ni mshai mdavida na uza viatu na handbag na pia netengeneze sabuni ya maji. Mshai mdavida sells handbags and makes soaps also. Na mimi ni Zaida Mohamed. Mimi mtengezaji ya chakula, snacks zote na upika. So she sells food. She cooks and sells food. Thank you very much, ladies, for peace. Uh, Dr. Jill Biden, you can see that our women are fully engaged in um, trade, doing different things in entrepreneurship. And this is how they encourage one another and grow. Now, very quickly, we are just going to demonstrate to you what they do after they brought the money to the table. We are just going to show one example of a borrowing. And then Tafadali, we can release Mama Zetu. See you, Nisawa? Yes. Sawa, Sawa? Yes. Very good. So, tutawaonesha tu example moja ya moja wenyu wa kiomba loan. Um, Dr. Jill Biden, I've just asked them to show you an example, one example of a borrowing, but otherwise the meeting continues with everybody getting an opportunity to borrow if the money allows. Uh -huh. Thank you. So after we have now confirmed the cash on the table, we are going to to take the fees to Joywa, to Joyful Women. This group is currently servicing a long-term loan from Joywa, Joyful Women. So we will put aside 4,700. 4,700. Admin fee of 1,470 and welfare of 220. So total, 6,390. 390. So I'm going to give you a pay bill. You will pay bill the money. Then in return you will give me the codes. So 
we are not into borrowing. So today, long-term loans, we have Venice. Number? Number, number. So long-term loans of how much? Who else? Long-term loans? Member number three. How much? Okay. So, after confirming if she qualifies the amount she has requested, I'm going to give her a long-term application form so that she can fill the forms. Hi. Then after that, she is going to give the group an, a fee, an application fee of 1% of the total amount she has taken as long-term loans, and that money is going to be borrowed as short-term loans on the table. So, member number 12, you are going to give us 150. 150. Yeah. And then member number three, you will give us 300 shillings. That is 1% of the long-term loans you have requested. Okay. Thank you very much. We appreciate. We will allow you ladies to continue with the meeting after this. But I would like us now to start closing the program. So you will hold on for now. And then after we finish our program, we will let you continue. Is that okay? Thank you. So just hold on with the process. Thank you very much. Let's give them a hand clap, everybody. Um, so because of uh, time and the need to move on, I'm going to ask that um, our First Lady, Mama Rachel Ruto, to invite Dr. Jill Biden to make some remarks. And Thank you, Nancy and uh, Asante Nisana, uh, ladies. We are grateful for your time and uh, just for allowing us to come into your table banking because we know this is a bank and usually in the bank you don't allow anybody to see your things inequally. So thank you, uh, Dr. Jill Biden. I would now like to invite you just to make uh, the final remarks as we conclude. Welcome. Thank you, Rachel. I, I just want to say thank you to all of you for inviting us in to see this process, to see how you are really creating financial independence for yourselves. Uh, you're quite an impressive group, so thank, thank you. you so much. So thank you so much, Dr. Jim Biden. We are very grateful that uh, during your trip uh, to this uh, country of Kenya, you had time to come and meet with the ladies and uh, we really appreciate just to maybe say that one of the things that COVID taught us was to uh, go uh, digital. So you can see everything that we are doing here is manual, but we're in the process of uh, digitizing our processes and digitizing the table banking concept so that going forward, even if the ladies don't meet, especially now that we are talking about the young generation, 19.7 um, uh, is the median age for Kenya. And to tell us that we have very many young people who may want to just work on their phones. So our Joyful Women Organization is in the process of digitizing. And uh, maybe, God willing, when you come next time, you'll find that uh, we'll just be working on our phones. Even these ladies will be working on their phones. 
And also to say that uh, you can see many of them are in enterprises. Uh, so we do a lot of capacity building and we also do a lot of financial literacy uh, to the ladies. So uh, we really appreciate your coming to Kenya and uh, thank you so much for your time this day. We don't take it for granted. And please, when you go back to your country, uh, pass our regards and especially to His Excellency, the President of the United States of America. So thank you so much. God bless. Thank you very much, uh, Your Excellencies. Before you leave, um, we will have a word of prayer, please, with your permission. Um, would like to close with a word of prayer, with your permission, please. Thank you. I will ask Reverend Gaira to please pray for us. Thank you very much. Let us pray. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you this great afternoon that you've made it possible for the First Lady of the United States and the First Lady of Kenya to attend this stable banking session here in Kibera with these wonderful ladies. And so we pray for the lovely ladies who have put their money together, that as they go to invest in various enterprises, that the blessing of the Lord will be upon them, that you will prosper their businesses. You will lift them from a place from the lower cadre to the upper echelons in business. We pray your blessings over the many, many women who are meeting like this across our country. And so we pray that you bless this economy through the hands of these women and many others that are not here. We ask that, Lord, as Dr. Jill and her entourage travel through Kenya and back to the United States, that you be with them, that you bless them and bless Kenya and bless the United States. For this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Um, Your Excellency, Dr. Jill Biden would like you to have a picture with the ladies for peace. And so we're going to ask that the ladies are lined up behind you and we can take that picture. So ladies, if you can please go to the back, we'd really appreciate. And we're going to take one picture, Your Excellency and Dr. Jill Biden with your lessons and then a 